hello guys welcome to ramta solutions today as we continue with vertical projectile motion uh, vertical projectile motion and we're looking at example six so this example says the position time graph for a tennis ball thrown vertically upwards from the second floor of a school building is shown on the right ignore all effects of air friction the height of the second floor is 0, 6,5 meters the ball rises 0, 0,9 meters from the point of projection before it starts to fall to the ground before we continue i want you to realize that they gave us uh, the distance from when the object was released to when it's reached maximum height they said it's 0, 0,9 meters right cool now the first question says calculate t1 when i look at this information i do not have any time value neither do i have a velocity or initial velocity that i can use to be able to calculate t1 so i do know however that at this point here velocity is zero if I move or if I take this portion here or this segment, I will not be able to solve the question because initial velocity and the time will be unknown. It'll be, I can't be, I can't solve that. Now, if I use this segment here, I know initial velocity here will be zero. If I use this segment here, initial velocity will be zero and I know the distance, right? So, first thing first, I will choose upwards as positive okay i will choose upwards as positive and i will use delta y equals vi delta t plus half a delta t squared the object is falling which is a downwards motion so this delta y will be negative 0 0,9 initial velocity here is zero now half acceleration is negative nine comma eight delta t i'm gonna leave it like that it's unknown so we have negative zero comma nine equals half of negative nine point eight will be negative four point nine delta t squared now we can say delta t squared equals 0, 0,9 over 4,9. However, I don't like writing this. I feel like it's wasting time. Oh, okay. Let me just continue. So I will say delta t equals 0, square root of 0, 0,9 over 4,9. I prefer from here, I prefer to come here but it's okay let's do it step by step now let's find our delta t square root of 0 comma 9 over 4 comma 9 our delta t is 0 comma 4 3 seconds now i want you guys to be careful this delta t is not from the point of release to return it is from maximum height to point of release it's for this portion now we said when objects are released vertically upwards there is time symmetry for the object to reach maximum height and to return to initial position what do i mean i said from here to here the time is 0, 0,43 seconds this also means from here to here the time is also 0, 0,43 second. Therefore, we say T1 equals 0, 0,43 second. Okay? T1 equals 0, 0,43 second. Okay. Now, question B says calculate the initial velocity of the ball this will now be easier we will be taking this segment here because we know the time we don't know the initial velocity 
and we know the distance so it will be easy for us now I'm still saying upwards as positive remember even if you choose downwards it's still okay it will still give you the same answers now I will use VF equals VI plus A delta T VF meaning at this point is now zero initial velocity which is here I do not know what it is that's what we're looking at acceleration it's negative 9.8 and our time was 0 0.43 our time was 0 0.43 right our time was 0 0.43 now um, 0 equals initial velocity minus 9,8 times 0, 0,43 what is it it's minus 4,21 the four initial velocity is 4,21 meters per second where it's positive so it's upwards okay it's upwards all right now let's look at number c there are i think about um two ways to do this there are two ways to do this so i will try i will try option one option one i will make use of the segment from maximum height to when it strikes uh the ground okay from maximum height to when it strikes the ground i will use this to help me calculate the time it takes the object to hit the ground so with this i do know that this is initial velocity i do not know what is the time but i do know the distance traveled so i will say option one remember i said i'm taking from maximum height so i will say this is um let me say option one from maximum height okay so I will say delta y equals initial velocity delta t plus half a delta t squared. Do not forget to write this upwards as positive. I will choose upwards as positive for this motion. Okay, so the distance traveled from maximum height, this part here, this part here was 0 0,9 all right so the distance traveled will be 0 0,9 plus 6,4 which is negative right because it's going down so it'll be negative 7,4 0 0,9 plus 6,5 is 7,4 however since the object is moving downwards the displacement will be negative okay initial velocity at this point is 0 plus acceleration it's negative oh I forgot a square here okay now we have negative 7 comma 4 equals negative 4 comma 9 Delta T squared all right okay let's go to the next page so Delta T squared equals 7 comma 4 did I say 7 comma 9 okay 7 comma 4 over 4 comma 9 therefore meaning Delta T is the square root of 7 comma 4 over 4 comma 9 what is our Delta T it is let's see it is 1 comma 2 3 seconds 1 comma 2 3 seconds this is not the time it takes the ball to hit the ground this is the time it takes the ball to hit the ground from maximum height right to hit the ground not the entire motion therefore we will say 1 comma 2 3 plus you remember this time here or was it I think it was 0 comma 43 all right what is it 
equals 1,66 seconds. Therefore, it takes 1,66 seconds to hit the ground. Right? To hit the ground. Okay? This is how we do this. Now, I will give you option two. Uh, what happened? Oh, I finished all my... Okay. Let me... Okay, I finished all my things. So, let me just... Option two. It's okay. Option two will be... Again, I'm taking into consideration the entire motion. I know the initial velocity. I know uh, the height of the building. And I do not know the time. So, I will say... It is delta y equals initial velocity times time plus half a delta t squared. I'm sorry, um, I want to say upwards as positive. I will still take upwards as positive. So, now, the, be careful here. The height of the building is 6,5. Because I said upwards is positive, meaning movement up there is positive, the height is this one here. So it's going to be negative 6,5. And what was our velocity? It was upwards motion, which was 4,21. We don't know the time. Our acceleration is negative 9,8. We still don't know the time. So we have negative 6,5 equals 4,21 delta t minus 4,9 delta t squared. Now we have 4,9 delta t squared minus 4,21 delta t equals negative, oh sorry, <laughs> minus 6,5, sorry. Minus 6,5 equals 0. To be able to solve this, we must use a quadratic formula. That says delta t equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, b is negative 4,21. Okay. A is 4,9 and C, what is C? C is negative 6,5 all over 2 into 4,9. Now, what is our answer? Our answer will be. Four comma two one plus four comma two one squared minus uh, plus four into four comma nine into six comma five over nine point eight. Now we're getting one comma six six seconds. We still got this one comma six six seconds in the other method right it was still 1,66 right it was still 1,66 i don't know somehow my things are missing i'm missing i don't know why so it was still 1,66 right but it's okay this is how we do it so this is it guys i'll see you next time bye bye